Coagulopathy is a condition in which the blood's ability to coagulate is impaired. This would mean if someone had a serious bleed, the body's ability to form clots would be reduced, therefore it's hard to control the bleed. This condition can cause a tendency towards prolonged or excessive bleeding, which may occur, to occur spontaneously or following an injury or medical or dental procedures. Coagulopathy is not something that just happens in the event of a serious bleed, but it is also a condition that people can suffer from and it gives a host of signs and symptoms. It can affect their life and their ability for their body to function correctly. Examples of problems are walking difficulties, convulsions or seizures, vision problems, confusion, loss of consciousness, blood in the urine or stools, frequent nosebleeds and bleeding from the mouth and gums. There are different factors that increase the risk of coagulopathy and these include hypothermia, anticoagulant drugs such as heparin or warfarin, haemophilia A or B, long-term use of antibiotics, severe liver disease and viral infections. Coagulopathy is, is a real problem when trying to control a bleed as we want the blood to clot and therefore plug the wound. Any factors that decrease the clot clotting ability will make the condition worse. There is a graphic used to show the factors affecting coagulopathy and this is sometimes called the trauma triad of death. The graphic shows the three sides. The first is an increase in lactic acid in the blood, causing acidosis. The second is a decrease in the heart's performance and lack of blood volume, causing hypothermia. Hypothermia can be increased by the environment, making things worse. And the final side shows a decrease in coagulation, causing coagulopathy. In the event of a severe hemorrhage in trauma, as oxygen delivery reduces, this can lead to hypothermia. This in turn can halt the coagulation cascade, preventing blood from clotting. In the absence of blood-bound oxygen and nutrients, the body's cell burn glucose anaerobically for energy, causing the release of lactic acid, ketone bodies and other acidic compounds into the bloodstream, which lower the blood's pH, leading to a metabolic acidosis. Such an increase in acid acidity damages the tissues and the organs of the body and can reduce myocardial performance further reducing oxygen delivery. This cycle will continue and increases mortality rates if the cycle is not broken. If we're dealing with a catastrophic bleed, we need the blood to clot and to reduce coagulopathy, so one important thing we can do is to keep the patient warm. Controlling heat loss can be maintained by the use of blankets and clothing to reduce the heat loss. Another thing to find out from the patient is if they're on any blood clotting drugs, this can make it difficult to control the bleeding.